All right, here we go. We're testing the uh, startup of the uh, boat with no mufflers. This is a, a cold startup. And then we'll go up to 2,000 RPM. It's around uh, 92 to 94. The intent is to add these uh, hardened marine uh, muffler units in line. The original thought was to try to put it up there, but that's just not going to fit. It's too tight. And uh, I guess I'll end up putting it down here somehow. But even this is very tight because there's a board that goes across here. And the actual clearance, once the board is in place, is about the thickness of my finger. So it's very, very tight. And uh, again, this is about the thickness of my finger as well. So it'll be a tight fit. I'll have to end up uh, cutting the copper pipe. I hate to do that, but I don't know what, how else to do it. Unfortunately, getting this rubber boot off is much more difficult than I'd anticipated. I thought it would just slip right off since it's a smooth, smooth copper pipe. But uh, I, I sprayed some penetrating lu lubricant down in there and, and the rubber is loose, but I'll just have to keep working on it. All right, finally, using a series of pry tools and lubricants and uh, bearing puller and whatnot, I was able to slide the the rubber off the uh, exhaust manifold. Now it's free, so hopefully we can move on to phase two. Well, it took quite a bit of effort also to just slide this thing off, but with uh, the penetrating oil and leverage, it eventually came off. So now we can do a quick mock-up of, of how it's going to go in. Of course, there'll be a rubber I'll probably just cut this rubber boot actually I need to go buy I'll go buy some additional rubber booting and cut out the uh, unwanted copper pipe Wow all right so the next step is to uh, test fit these uh, the muffler and cut the copper exhaust pipe I've tried to uh, anticipate sliding this rubber um, connector back onto the copper slide it this way and then slide the muffler assembly here and they should meet okay we'll soon see you know the old saying uh, measure twice and cut once <clears throat> alright I've put some masking tape around the perimeter here I'm gonna try to use this cutoff tool it's not been working as well as I thought <coughs> I may need to use a, uh, a saw rather than a cutoff tool. Yeah, this uh, saw is uh, much more effective. It's been able to cut through uh, a little uh, smoother. All 
All right, so I cut through that, and uh, it's difficult to cut it nice and square, <clears throat> but I, it'll be hidden by the rubber boots, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Very interesting. 46-year-old copper pipe, still in good condition. All right, so here's a, a quick test fit, and uh, let me get this out of the way here. I still need to slide this over half of an inch, and then that that works well, that works well, and the actual end of the copper I think is right about here. Um, so it should uh, work fine. I put the double clamps on each each boot. Uh, this appears to be touching the stringer. It's just a little weird. I might have to wedge maybe some sort of a small piece of wood. Uh, I don't anticipate this getting too terribly hot. Uh, because it is water cooled um, so we'll cross that bridge later all right so now we've got this muffler installed and I think it's done correctly we'll soon see when we finish the uh, other side and uh, put it in the water make sure that there's no leaks all right now we're over on the uh, I believe the port side and uh, double checking to see how this fits. So if I slide this that way and uh, you know what? I may need to cut I'll cut on this side I believe. That's the correct I'll double check it. Well for whatever reason even though I have lubricated both ends of this with uh, grease and WD-40 it will not slide this last two inches. I can't figure it out. I'm using these pulling tools. I may just have to keep cranking on it. After additional pulling and wedging and twisting, the boot uh, closed this gap here. So that's good. So the stainless steel extends to about where my index finger is and the copper extends to about right, right about there. So I should be able to clamp them down now. All right, so now the unit's been installed and uh, double clamped each connection. There is still a little bit of movement, which is proper. The whole motor really should not shake, but there may be thermal expansion and so forth. So there's your finished product. So now for the sound test, let's see if it's quieter. All right, here we go for uh, idle and uh, 2,000 RPM. All right, start up. All right, looks like about 92, 93. Oh, actually, that may be my voice. I'll whisper to the camera. 92, some of the sound off of the windshield so we'll see what it does now at uh, full throttle or at least half throttle so this is about uh, 2,000 rpm actually hitting some waves right now 101 DB 
it does appear somewhat quieter. All right, so here we go. We're going to a full throttle. RPM. I believe, in fact, it is quieter, although not as quiet as I would have liked. So, success, but not a complete A plus. 